NASA's journey to Mars is often described as a series of deliberate, carefully planned steps. They aren't focused solely on a single aggressive date like 2030 for a full colony, but rather on building a sustainable presence in deep space, using the Moon as a critical proving ground. This phased approach is embodied by the Artemis program. Artemis is not just about returning astronauts to the lunar surface. It's fundamentally about preparing for Mars. By establishing a sustained presence on the Moon, building infrastructure like the Gateway Lunar Orbital Outpost, and developing technologies to live and work in a harsh, extraterrestrial environment, NASA gains invaluable experience directly applicable to Mars missions. The Moon's proximity allows for testing systems like life support, radiation shielding, and in situ resource utilization, using local resources like water ice, with shorter communication delays and easier abort options than a mission to Mars. NASA's robotic explorers have also been paving the way for decades. Rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance and orbiters like MRO have been meticulously studying the Martian environment, analyzing its geology, searching for signs of past life, and most importantly, for future human missions, mapping resources, like subsurface water ice. This data is crucial for site selection and planning how future colonists might live off the land. NASA's approach emphasizes safety, scientific return, and often involves extensive international collaboration, pooling, resources and expertise from around the globe. Their 2030 goals are more likely centered on critical technology demonstrations, potentially sending cargo ahead of humans, and perhaps even mounting initial crewed missions to Mars orbit or a brief surface stay, building directly upon the successes and lessons learned from the Artemis lunar missions.